what is up everybody this is your buddy e-bike guy back again with another video and today we're going to be talking about controllers now uh the main controllers that i'll be talking about is the far driver and the stop tongue controller so as you know that the far driver controller and the stop tongue controller are the main go-to controllers that i've been using uh, for the past year since i've been into e-biking so I'm going to give you two examples right quick, okay? So right now I have a UKC1 display that uh, went to my Sabaton controller. So as you can see here, um, this is the Sabaton 72200. Now the reason why I don't have the wires is because that we had this controller, as y'all remember not back in my other video that this controller had um, problems and it no longer worked no more. So we, decided to savage the wiring off this controller uh, to run my far driver controller that's on my Tommy bike anyways um, but I'm giving y'all an example so we got the 72 200 right here and then we're gonna have the UKC1 display right there and now I'm gonna bring y'all the far driver controller and the display now now I'm gonna show y'all some right thank you let me show y'all some right quick so I haven't opened this controller yet, but this is a good comparison uh, towards the uh, 72200. Okay, and it's a little controller, and that's the crazy part. Okay, now we're doing a comparison against these two controllers because of um, because they are budget friendly and. Uh, you know most people can afford it so we're gonna grab this buddy out right quick okay this is the far driver uh 72 360 controller and then you have your wiring harness and then you have a bluetooth dongle now some some of these controllers come with built-in bluetooth uh built in the controller also, you get your nut, uh, your screws, and everything to mount your. Uh, so we're gonna put, we're gonna take that box and put it out of the way. Oh. All right, and then for an optional, you can also can get this. Uh, Kihoe, Chihoe. If I'm saying it right, let me know if I'm not saying it right. But this is an upgraded display. This is a TFT display. This is the same one that I have on the Legend and the Tommy Bike Icon okay so I'm gonna pull this out and then I do have some spectators on my right <laughs> they actually watching me upload this so so I'll pull those to the side so we have a Sabaton 72 200 on the left and on my right we have a far driver 72 360 with a upgraded TFT display now this display does Android Auto uh, Apple CarPlay so it has all the features that your phone does even gps and and fm radio as well now now the reason i'm doing these these two, these two controllers is because they're budget friendly now when it comes to performance wise that's when it starts to get you know the gap starts to widen um between these two controllers even though this is on paper this is a 190 amp battery 360 phase on this controller is 200 battery amps and 450 phase now that might sounds like this is a much bigger controller than the far driver 72 360 but um performance wise this controller is a lot more powerful than the Sabaton 7200 now why i don't know i'm not really into specs like that but um, I'm talking to you from experience, okay? So, just from experience, uh, my son's old controller that's on his that's on his bike, we swapped that out for one of these controllers right here, and the uh, performance-wise was was uh, was a night and day difference. Now, these two these two controllers, you can get these in kits. Um, you can actually can get this with a UKC1 display throttle, uh, brakes, alarm. Um, everything you need to get your bike ready to run and it's gonna be a little bit more expensive than the far drive controller because the far drive controller doesn't come with throttle and brakes as opposed to the Sabaton controller does it doesn't even come with a display now you can get this without display as well um, 
and you'll pay a lot less. Um, you're gonna be around, you're gonna be looking around about to, for all that around about between four, five hundred dollars, depending on where you get it from. This one you can you can just get the controller itself for one hundred and fifty, and then this one's about a hundred and seventy nine dollars to two hundred, depending on where you get this um display from. So you're still uh, going cheap now. If you buy your own throttle, you can buy your own brakes. Now what I like to do is um. Cause these are motorcycle connectors. I like to swap these out with um, J JST connectors, but we're not going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about um, the comparison value and simplicity. Simplicity. So this controller is a little bit more friendly, uh, user friendly, uh, than a far drive. Far drive with tuning capabilities is more involved. And put that to the side. So far drive controllers, far drive controllers are more involved than the Sabaton controllers there's not much you can do um, you know there's there's more much more to tune this controller than you do a, uh, the Sabaton controller now I know that's a lot of YouTubes um, certain YouTubers saying that uh, you're not tuning because of the different controls now there's a lot of controllers you got your best controllers you got your your, your BAC controllers and instead those controllers are more involved and that's when you call tuning it doesn't listen it doesn't matter what controller you has you can let's just say this as y'all know that i had a, vi a video on a turbo yukon that was my yukon that i tuned myself so anytime when you open the app on this controller or open the app on this controller or log into the um the software on the uh, hp hp tuners and you change just one parameter okay that's called tuning okay so let so don't let nobody fool you because you change a one to a zero on this controller and a nine to an eight on this controller i'm just using that for an example you just tune your controller okay so no matter how simple this is no matter how involved this one is you're tuning your controller to your specific needs now on the sabaton controller there's not much you can do to that controller on the far drive controller there's a little bit more involved to tune this controller you can actually can damage your motor or your controller if you have parameters out of out of certain range as to say but um you can um but both of these controllers you can tune now um uh, far as performance goes like i'm gonna say this controller even though it's 100 and 190 amps does outperform this sabaton controller now i have no reason why but i'm telling you from experience from swapping out this controller to this one okay now is it worth it is i i yes it is worth it you know what i'm saying you're gonna pay you're gonna pay a lot more than this but you're getting you're getting the complete kit now this one you have to source a little bit more parts like your brake handles unless you're running hydraulic brakes and then you have to do your own wiring uh so it's more involved to get this setup than you would have to do with the sabaton controller okay now reliability goes i had numerous problems with the sabaton controller i had three of these that went out on me as opposed to i have no problems with the far driver controller i have yet one of these far drive controls went bad on me so i really can't really speak for reliability but i know that this is uh, more reliable than this and um my case uh so so yeah i switched over to far drive controls now i do use sabatons on low power settings like the 7245 maybe the 7280 i do use those controllers but far as as far as my high performance e-bike goes they will be getting the far driver controller now you can also get optional heat sinks too now you can go on amazon and you can buy some heat sinks to go on this this is a heat spreader and you can actually can uh if you want more cooling uh, which i have no problems with you can buy heat sinks for this on amazon with some thermal paste or or a thermal like a, a glue and you can stick these on um, the heat spreader as opposed to the sabaton controller they have uh pretty much some fins on there to help keep this controller cool you know but anyways so that's just a little bit a little bit of comparison that um i seen from these two controllers um i would believe it's worth it even though you have to do your own wiring and you have to source a uh, display now they do have cheaper displays they do have the ukc one i'm mean, not the ukc one but the um 
they do have a, a DKD display and it does have a, a CT22 uh, display so there's a bunch of displays you can run with this far drive controller now you can't just want now you just can't use every UKC1 or 750 or SW900 you can't just go out there on Amazon and buy a display and run it with this controller uh, inside this controller and the display itself there is a certain communication protocol that has to match uh, each other in order for these to communicate with each other okay now there's options around that you can actually get a ignition switch uh, on and off switch or a push button like I use on my controllers uh, on my far drive controllers and you can still run this uh, Sabaton controller but you won't have that uh, uh, you won't have the flexibility of a three-speed switch you can put a three-speed switch on this as well you just got to go and tune it you know what I'm saying but this controller you can tune on the fly that means you don't have to unplug a wire a communication wire for this controller and actually could get in the software and tune it as opposed to this one all you have to do you can even keep this Bluetooth dongle plugged in just like you can do on this one as well and you can tune this on the fly so if it don't work if a parameter don't work you can change it back and you can um you know you can reset it without having to um doing all types of plugs and everything and then you can uh you can test it out um you can change a parameter right down the road if it works you can save it on this controller okay so this is a little bit expensive than the far drive controller as you can see this far drive controller is much powerful but it's yet smaller in every way so it's shorter it's the same width as i can see so it's the same width and it's shorter okay stack these two side sides just a little bit shorter except for the lugs the studs on the uh controller but it's but it's like say shorter and it's all uh, same width and it's um yeah I like the same height as well it's just that this is uh, shorter and this is a little bit heavier this one's a little bit lighter you know um these sabaton controllers you can actually can mount these uh the sabaton controllers does have a mount that goes here they also use that's the version two the version one has a mount that goes here so you can pretty much uh this is pretty much universal as opposed to the far driver you don't have you have uh three i mean four um holes right here you can bolt to um like your uh, stuff bomber frame you can go up on the bottom but there's really no there's really not much you can do as far as mounting position goes unless you make your own brackets like i do on a tummy bike so uh the the flexibility actually goes to the sabaton controller because you can actually can mount this pretty much anywhere uh if you um if it rooms al allows you to this one's a little bit shorter so you can probably can hit and hide this a little better but mounting this up is going to be a little bit difficult so i don't know i don't think i, I think i covered everything as far as uh you know as far as uh, comparison goes like i say you're going to get what your money's worth out of this one because this controller is a lot powerful even though it's a 190 amp controller 360 phase this one's a 200 amp 450 phase this one not performs this one actually this one's a little bit smoother uh you, you this is even though these both of these are sine wave i think this was foc i don't think this is an foc controller i don't know let me know in the comments if it is um but um you you hear a little bit of a, a high pitch noise uh with this controller i don't know if you ever listen to if you have this hooked up to one of your qs motors or anything like that and if you if you give it throttle you will hear a very high pitch noise it's really quiet it's really quiet but it, it's it's really high pitch uh as opposed to the far drive control you there's nothing it's completely silenced you no know saying um so yeah that's um both of these are waterproof too as a matter of fact um uh, i forgot what the ip rating on these though but they're both pretty much water resistance where you can uh, ride in the rain uh, uh this uh the harness right here has a rubber uh you see that orange rubber little o-ring around this uh the connector uh but these are not so except for this plug that goes to the qs motor it has the o-ring in it but these right here not anyways uh also this is pretty much uh water resistant too because that's a uh, rubber um garment that's inside this and it tightened up but uh 
but yeah i will uh me personally i will choose the far driver over the sabaton if performance okay if you want power okay if you want that torque and you want that performance go with the far driver i think uh credit to kilovolt bikes he did a comparison but it was against the sabaton versus the kelly controller but i'm doing the, the far drive versus the sabaton uh but if you want motorcycle like performance you can't beat a far driver controller okay uh this one's still a good controller i still use this controller in some of my applications but when it comes to high horsepower or high current uh builds uh go ahead and choose a far driver because they have a lot of far driver controllers uh, as opposed to the seven ton i think this the biggest one is the um the uh, 200 amp controller they do make high voltage controllers far driver makes high voltage uh controllers as well um so but uh anyways uh, i think that's it i think i covered everything for as uh comparison goes um okay. well so like i say i'm gonna say a couple of things um before i go like i say i had issues with this controller i had um 30s has um failed on me i had um ukc1 controllers uh not ukc1 displays that failed on me too uh riding and just all of a sudden the um it just shot off on me and it turned out to be the um the display um i had i covered that in one of my videos as well also i covered uh one of the this controller on my videos failed on me and um the far driver i went over to far driver the only problems i had with this display right now it, it does freeze this on me so i have to shut the bike off turn it back on and then it works just fine but i never had i didn't have a display shut off on me and and another thing too if this display does shut off on you the controller still runs okay so it's still gonna go this doesn't communicate with the um, con the controller like that as a the uh, displays on a far drive controller um so if you so if you actually disconnect this display from the controller you can still go so so that's another thing too uh that if you can actually can re replace one of these on the fly with the ukc1 or any other controller um any other display you have to get a Pacific Pacific display to uh, run with the Salvatore controller. But anyway, so that is it for today's video on these two controllers in comparison. Like I say, the far drive is my go-to controller as far as high horsepower. This is more for my low power builds that I'll be using, you know, cause this one has pedal assist, this one doesn't. I forgot to mention that. So yeah, so that's my, what, what's up man? <laughs> so okay so anyways i'm gonna go right now conclude the video let me know what y'all think in the comments um or do y'all want to go with a far driver or y'all want to go with a sabaton control for y'all builds uh yeah let me know and i'll respond back but yeah anyway so this is the e-bike guy and i'll see y'all in the next one peace